closer. Corvo, you're back. Will you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? Wait, let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. Will you have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Okay, here we go. <laughs> well, she'll see you at once. They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, Your Majesty. They're... They're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, Your Majesty. Corvo. Two days early. Full of surprises, as usual. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. What news Mother's have you going brought? to be happy. Follow me, Captain. I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before, knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! Emily, get behind me! Look out! Corvo, thank you. If you hadn't been here... No more! Not again! Mommy! No! Get away from her! Corvo! Emily, protect her. You're the only one. You'll know what to do, won't you? Corvo. Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. What did you do with young lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Take him. Should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend.
kind of explosive to blast his way out. That doesn't happen by accident. You think he had help? Who'd know how to... Don't get past me, sir. Hurt yeah. some good people who want very much to meet you. Well, they said you'd come out here. I can still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. for business half the district marked off is dead from the plague we're right under the lord regent's nose and he don't know a thing of course if anyone finds out what we're up to the watch will break in with swords drawn and now that you've escaped the lord regent's going to be tearing the city apart Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. So it's starting at last. We can continue this later. Yes. The arrow's as much an artist. I'll be crafting. Can you get a little tank from upstairs to leave it out of this place? Careful. One of the stable. Perfect. Tell me what I can make. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Sleep well.
how you use Well, I know that Camel is holding from the eyes. Ready to go? Just give the signal. It'll be a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes, like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. Attention, Dunwall citizens. This is a special announcement from our honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent's speech. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potential. is having trouble holding the side streets. A bunch of children playing games. Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. You ready to go? Okay, let's go. Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect they'll want to congratulate you. You did it. Citizens living on the north side of the river. on you. Corvo. Pendleton's waiting for you. I know the golden. I'll take you to the golden cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me.
I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Dreaming? Are you both ready to go? Corvo, you must have worked wonders out there in the city tonight. I can't believe my old eyes. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh, grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown-up business at the Golden Cat. Oh, I should concentrate on piloting this boat. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the hound pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. Corvo. Off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Just climb aboard when you're ready. What do you think, Corvo? Caldwin's Bridge. You've been in the city for years, but you lived in Gunwall Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. 
Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right. We'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive. He's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole of Dunwall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions and the like. Seems dangerous to me. But what do I know? Job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. They set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. Well done. making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will... Royal, you're part of this... I hear you're... Costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? Great. The Lord Reach is pulling out all the stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with a folk of quality. Better you than me. Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit.
enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. Pendleton said he would meet us here. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. Did I faint? You did it. And now we've done away with a woman, and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. You've had a long night, Corvo. But I fear it's not over. Havelock and Martin have already cooked up something more for you. They would like to see you now. In Havelock's chambers above the bar. Corvo. Dunwall citizen. The streets adjacent to Boyle Manor remain off limits. Omar, ready to face the Lord Regent? About time we took care of my say. Long past time. This is it, Corvo. Last memories of Dunwall Tower might not be good ones, huh? So maybe you can make up for what happened back then. It'll be a bit of a climb from the water lot. The most important thing is killing the Lord Regent. He built himself quite a place at the top of the tower. Calls it his safe room or something. Crazy if you ask me. Another point of interest while I'm giving you the grand tour, Corvo. Broadcast control station here where all them announcements come from might be worth looking into. You ready? Next time I see you, the Lord Regent will be dead. And if not, well, it was an honor to serve with you. Then you will see, I am not at fault. My poverty... Huh? Heard something. Come. Is it all done? You ready to go back to the hound pits? Thanks to you, Corvo. All right, let's go. Big changes. Makes me uneasy, to tell the truth. A small fry like me always gets the worst of it. But maybe it's going to be different now. The Lord Regent is gone. The Abbey has a new high overseer. I'm guessing our work is almost done. The others are in the bar. No doubt waiting to raise a glass in your name. Me, I think I'll just linger out here if you don't mind. Reflect on things while we have a moment. Congratulations, Corporal.
Samuel, you moved like you... This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. Poison. Tibby and stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to doubt. gift from your friend, the one who talks to you in the dark, talks to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too, and I know what it felt like to shove a blade into your empress. But I don't know you, who you are, and who you fight for. You're a mystery, and I can't allow that. two others could fight. Stand down. This is my fight.
bad. Could just be. I'll feed your heart to the hounds. Corvo, I can't believe you're alive. They killed everyone, Corvo. They killed everyone. Good. Then it's one more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. That's where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. Ought to be something to see. This is it, sir. I suspect Havelock Martin and Lord Pendleton landed there a while ago and went into the lighthouse. Knowing them, they're not giving up without a fight. I remember hearing the Admiral and Martin talking about this place as where they'd hold up if they had to. Anybody going in has to breach the fort and the gatehouse, and there's only one way to the top. All I can say is that it's been a pleasure serving with you. Maybe after all this is settled, we'll see each other again. Good luck, Corvo. If anyone deserves it, you do. Give my best to Emerald. Cigars and right. Remember when this was just a Did you think I'd fight you, Corvo? Corvo! I knew you'd come. Is it going to be okay now? Will I be Empress? <laughs> <laughs> 